What did you do, everybody? So welcome to another 5-bit questionnaire where I answer five of the more simpler, easier, single-sentence questions. Uh, and you guys ask away. I feel like to a degree in a lot of instances I may very well have instigated it, but not to the extent that things were taken. Um, I think that there could have been a possibility that perhaps maybe I was too boisterous or too loud or too friendly um, and it would have warranted a tongue lashing at most but not hitting, not slapping, not being shoved around or dragged by my hair, none, none of that. Um, during I can't really gauge, I know he spent a lot of time trying to convince me that he was medically compromised so to speak. Um, I know that a lot of times I tiptoed and I did my best to try and keep around him and stay away from him as much as possible. Um, stay away from like triggering him and such. Enduring, I had become like a lot more susceptible to being hurt by people and a, a bit more dependent on other people per, I'm guessing, what was meant to occur? Um... I can only assume that what was already wrong was worsened. Um, my depression was made worse. My anxiety was made a bit worse. My extreme self-doubt was undoubtedly made worse. My self-image was in absolutely in the can. Um, let me see. I know that I developed more triggers for overstimulating myself there was it was it was a lot easier to trigger it I know that there were quite a few things that had messed with me that made it almost impossible for me to do without like develop like, I guess a form of PTSD or something um let's see I'm trying to think of other issues that have arose since then um just a lot of mental stuff a lot of mental damage that was worsened or created well between lying to me and giving me some weird sob story about how he hadn't been with a woman for so long and and he'd left a really tragic relationship or something like that which again I don't know if it was real because he constantly lied to me about a bunch of crap but initially my thing of wanting to be with him was um, I viewed him as the scared, damaged, misunderstood person, and now he's kind of like that. I still view him as that, but more pathetic than sad. Something like that. Um, I just felt like he needed a lot of love, and now I feel like he needs a lot of therapy. There is actually quite a few of like category type of things to go in there. Um. Between in and out of the relationship, for as far as cheating goes, um, out of the relationship, there was this one ex where he was with for, I think, I guess, four years or something like that, and he claimed he never cheated on her, and then he claimed that he cheated on her a bunch, and it was, oh, well, I only cheated on her once, and then it was, uh, I never cheated on her, it was when we took breaks in between the relationship that I slept with other people, and then it was uh, that he didn't have a straight story and that he was just testing me never told me what I was testing for but I failed and then it was that he had never cheated on me before and then it was oh I cheated on you with such and such and then it was oh well you don't know what you were reading and I never cheated with specific people and then it was that he had um um and then there was also instances where he claimed that he never cheated on me. He just told me he was, or that he did, because things were going really well, or it was too peaceful, or I was doing too well, or something like He He just wanted to cause conflict. That was literally the, the reasoning behind it, was he wanted to create conflict. Um, and then there's the medical ones, where he would sit there and claim he was dying, and then it was that he just has some sort of a disease, or that he's got heart problems and whether or not he does the fact that he lied so much about so much of it sat there and even like shook some bare aspirin and threw it at me talking about 
that's his prescription and shit. Like, bro, like, the least you could do is remove the label if you're gonna lie to me and say some shit like that. Um, <clears throat> like, I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. Then there was the, uh, let's see, what else was there? Um, his, his prison stories. Um, first off, according to the records and stuff, he never actually went to prison. Just a bunch of misdemeanor bullshit. Um, he also claimed that he was on meth for four years. I don't know if that was true, but he did change his story quite often to he was on meth for four years. And it was just one year. Then it was two years. Then it was he'd never done meth a day in his life. He would never do meth. Then it was blah, blah like that he'd gone to jail. He'd gone to jail for possession. And that's why he ended up in some recovery program and come to find out none of that had ever happened. Uh, <laughs> and don't worry, that it describes like half of Florida, uh, especially where I live, unfortunately. Um, really he, he basically just tells a bunch of word vomits that would make him seem as more of a relatable character, each person. Um, changes his story a little bit here and there every time. Alters, like really, in essence, I don't know anything about him. Just the things that he told me. But he told me them as a test. And I failed. Every time. Um, so. Yeah, um, so. I didn't understand that one. But yeah, if you guys have any more questions or anything you'd like to say or any video requests you would like to put out, just be sure to leave a comment or hit me up in my DMs on my Instagram. <clears throat> Either one is always open. So yeah, I'll uh, catch y'all on the flip side.